Right, right. we're doing all she might slip it out. So you just have a band or a stick just to start off with some shoulder dislocates. We'll do a warm up and then I'll talk you to your your left. All I want you to do, nice and easy, all the way around, all the way back. I tell you what, I did it yesterday and my shoulders are sore, the chest. A bad bombs. Oh, I say they are, my God. How many did you get? I did it the first time and uh, I didn't click the thing on. I didn't click my video on. I got filmed. Oh, no. And, delighted. and then I went to watch it back and it wasn't there. <laughs> it took about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and I was like, all right, I'll do it again. And then the second time I got 48. Oh, my God. 42. All right, going into walkouts after. Down to the side. I'm going to hinge back nice and slow. Walk the hands all the way out until they're underneath your shoulders. You're boom in the air, head through, so full shoulder mobility. Just back down, walking in. So just mobilizing the shoulders to start off. Nice and slow. Hey. Oh, you've started already. Sorry, I was chatting to the postman. Thank you. Okay, it's good. Right. Now, just to stabilize the shoulders when you're going to a bear crawl position. Bear crawl. Underneath your shoulder knees, underneath your hips. From there. All we're going to do is a couple of shoulder taps. About 20 seconds. Hip square. And if your shoulders warm up. Warm up our cars out. Good. A rest. And then we're going to do a few push-ups. So we're going to do an isometric hold. So what I want you to do, either from your hands or either from your toes into the ground, or you can do an elevated one or from your knees. But what I want you to do is start, we're going to go 10 seconds from a front plank position, so plank off hands. We're going to go 10 seconds or five seconds. we we'll go five seconds from halfway, and then five seconds just off the ground. So warm up, okay? Ready? Three. Ready? Ready? Get our shoes on. Three, two, one, ten seconds. Five, ten. We're going to go halfway. One, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Slightly off the ground though. Two, three, four, five. And rest. Good. Does that count as one? Good breather. And then I'm going to explain what we're going to do. We'll go through the actual exercises. We're going to do a slight warm. We're going to do maybe three or four, maybe one or two push ups, and then we'll go into the actual test. Okay? You can't see me. I think the light's shining on me a bit weird. It's today push up test or burpee oh, test. Yes, it is. You ready? What did you get in your last one, Elaine? Can you remember? Ah, oh, sure. Coming a clue, maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to show you some mute there. <clears throat> no, no. Uh, mute. Right. So, as a reminder, these exercises and challenges are for fun. Um, and come with the risk of injury, all right? So, therefore, as a coach, we're going to suggest that we're gonna give you a level, pretty much, um, and if we can see if your technique is starting to go out the window, 
um, we're going to call out your name, okay? And then you can change. So I have no problem with you starting off um, and trying a full push-up. But if it's starting to look bad and your hips are starting to go or your elbows are starting to flare out, if we call your name, we'll drop it back, okay? Ideally, I want everybody to get um, a score today. But you mightn't, you mightn't be where you're at when you're actually in the gym for a lot of reasons. I think the obvious reasons because we haven't been trained as much, right? So don't um, get your ego bruised after this. All right? So I'm going to go in to the actual test. Let me see. Right. So three levels. There is level one is your full push-up. So pushing off the ground. Level two is elevated. So if you have a chair or a couch or something. And then level three is your uh, your push-ups off your knees, right? All the, the coaching cues you get in your full push-up pair, it's going to be the exact same for the three levels, all right? So, first way when you're doing a push-up, hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to come up onto your toes if you're doing a full one. Now, from there, what I want you to do is ribs down. So, crunch, like you're doing an ab crunch, crunch your ribs down. And you're going to squeeze your bum. So clench your bum. That's going to keep your spine in neutral. All right. From there, make sure your head's not looking forward. Your chin is cooked. So imagine you had a tennis ball underneath your chin. And then from there, elbows rubbing against your ribs all the way down. Okay. So all the way down. Chest to floor. And drive it straight back up. There we go. And up. Now, this is a, it is a one-minute challenge. So it's a time cap on it. Now, when I tell people that we're doing a time cap, it's okay. I'm going to do as many pushes as I can, as fast as I can. What happens when, when you do that? When you start to get fatigued in your arms, your hips are going to start dropping. Okay? So make sure every time, abs switched on, bum switched on, chin tucked, elbows rubbing against me. So every single push up. Okay? So ready, you get five perfect push ups, then 12. All over the place, kind of pushes, right? So that was your form, the exact same thing from here. So, bump squeeze, as switched on, straight line from my head to my heels, all the way down, driving up, okay? Your elbows are from your knees, front view, straight line, exact same thing, head straight line to my hip or to my knees, elbows rubbing against my ribs, chest is touching the ground. Driving up. Okay. So what we're going to do together, we're all going to go for, depending on your strength, Brian, you might be able to get two or three. Everyone else, maybe one or two max. And then we're going to take about 60 seconds and do, do the actual test. Okay. So just practice with one or two push-ups. Hold on. Unmute yourselves. All right. So I'll talk you through it. Hands underneath your shoulders. Now, what I do is whatever level you are doing in your program, and um, if you are going to go from your knees for the whole program, obviously you're not going to just jump up from your toes now. Okay, so stick to what you were doing. So, a couple of push ups in your own time. Nice and controlled, perfect. Rob, are you yeah. going to um, in the minutes, can you? Do five rest, do five rest, do five rest. Or exactly, you have to yeah. keep, keep going. Exactly. So you can break it up if you want. If you rather do three push ups, stand up, shake it out. If you want to go from your knees, just rest for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds and then going back in, you're completely fine doing that. Okay? From the knees, Rob, can you yeah. cheat? You know, when you get tired, can you cheat coming back up? What do you mean, cheat coming back up? You know, the way you kind of plonk to the ground and kind of roll yourself back up? No, 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 no. So we'll do nah. it. It has to be the same as this. We'll go at when you're coming from the ground. Yeah. From your knees. Make sure yeah. you go all the way down. Chest touch it. You have to drive straight back up. Right. Okay. So if you start going and you're starting to get the T and then it's starting to be, what is it like that? Ugh, that's a fail. Okay? Yeah. So okay. perfect push up all the way down. Just drive straight up. Best thing to do when you start to get the T, just take 10 seconds. Go again. First. 
Okay, so we're going to take about 20, 30 seconds. And then obviously it's going to be hard enough to see everybody doing perfect push-ups. So just be honest with yourself. Um, if you feel like you're taking a second to go. We all going to do them separately, like do one at a time. No, we're all going to do them together. Okay, so I just need you to be um, fairly strict with yourselves. You'll know um, if your technique starts to go, the best thing to do when you feel your technique start to go is take the rest. Okay, take five, ten seconds. Let's say, all right, I'm going to go again. <coughs> I'll call these out if uh, you can see. So take another 30, 40 seconds. So like I was saying, it is a time cap, it's one minute. As many as you can with perfect technique, Joanna. So it's a, it's a test, but mainly focus on your technique of your actual push-up, okay? That's all about the number. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Rob, elbows in as opposed to out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. always elbows. Remember I said elbows rubbing <laughs> against your ribs. You should feel them rubbing in. Best way to explain this to people is imagine you're pushing somebody. You're not going to push somebody with their elbows out here. Most of your power is going to come from your, from your side. Okay? Aye, aye, aye. All right, are you ready? No, before we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to start the clock in 10 seconds. In your own time, I'm going to do push-ups. Remember Ribs down, glutes squeeze, elbows rubbing against your side, chin tucked, and then your full range of motion, chest all the way down to the ground. Going in five, four, three, two, one. The minute has started. Nice and controlled. Good on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do it from the knees. Go right from the knees. Good line. Good. Let's see, Cathy. Let's remember, don't let your bum drop too early. 30 seconds gone. Remember, break it up, shake the arms out. 20 seconds left. Come on, keep going, keep going, remember. Yeah. <laughs> and deck. Come on, you get one or two more in. I'll do you. Go to that. Go on. Nice. Five. <laughs> two. One. And rest. Good. Take a breather. And everybody count. Please tell me you did. Yeah. Good. Um. So there is a score sheet um, in the Google Doc. I don't know if you've got that sent on yet. Did you just, uh, if not, um, you can just send it on to myself, email it to me, or even write it in the chat or whatever. Um, and then I'll put it in. 21. 21. 21, you got it? Nice. It's 21. There we go, push ups as well. Um, what was I going to say? Like I was saying before, I think push ups are probably one of the main, the main ones when you actually get your ego kind of bruised. But I always say to people, if you can't do a full push-up yet, look around your training and say, what, what am I actually lacking on this? So a good way of doing it is looking at all your push exercises. Um, so it could be I don't know, like a tricep or a, a skull crusher, building up your triceps. But one of the main reasons why you might be able to go down, when you push them back up, you're using a lot of your triceps. So if you get your uh, dumbbell skull crushers better, that's going to help your um, push-ups. Right, so the best thing to look at all your pushes, even your if you're doing a landmine press, overhead press, any kind of pushing. All right, does that make sense? Yeah, obviously, you have all your other tests this week as well. The walls at Burpee and the 2K. What's on Just Thursday? Try to get them all in, Rob. What's ah. on Thursday morning, because I don't normally do Thursday mornings. What test is on Thursday? I'm just wondering, is it worth getting out of bed for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you now. No. It's a burpy one. Oh. Right, okay. All right. Who's all in this next class, yeah? 
Yeah. yeah. See you, lads. I'm heading off. Thank you. Yeah. Later. <laughs>